let's look at the bash shell environment variables. So first of all, I mean, you have environment variables everywhere, but you can type in uh, env and you can see the list of variables in my bash shell. And if I want to have a scrollable list, I can do env and then pipe it through less. And then I can scroll down and up. All right. So these things can be used pretty easily. Um, you can use echo and user name. And that's nice. Or I could do something such as ls minus l and then home to look in my home directory. In this home directory, you'll see there is a dot bash rc file. So if I cat out my dot bash rc file, you can see it's got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, it actually does things like sets of variables. So you can see path is being reset here. So first it's setting it internally. So it's using dot path as part of the path, but it's adding some stuff to the front of it. So the dollar home dot local slash bin and dollar home slash bin are both being added to the front of the path. And then it is finally being exported right here, which is kind of nice. So if I wanted to change something, so let's go ahead and do nano dot bash rc. I can go down here and create a new variable. I can say, well, what do I want to create? I can say, well, I want some application I'm running. So my app and it's got some port number. The app port is going to be equal to one, two, three, four, five. And then I can export that export app port. So I've created a variable and I'm now exporting it and making it available to the rest of the system. Now, if I were to type in echo dollar app port right now, it doesn't show up. See, it's just blank. However, if I were to either restart my bash shell or go one layer deeper, I could do bash right now and type in echo dollar app port and you can see it has the number or I can just exit out all the way and I can create a new terminal. So I create a new terminal and type in echo dollar app port. Oops, I need one more P in there. Then you can see that it is in fact there and it'll be there every time I boot up. So this helps us to manage our environment variables. You can set them, change them, update them, all using your dot bash rc.